Good morning, guys. Today, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a day in my life, and I hope that you guys will get to see what it's like for someone who just recently graduated college to balance a full-time job working at a big tech company and YouTube on the side. Also, just a heads up, my life is not that glamorous, as you guys are soon about to find out. I'm not going to be closing millions of dollars of funding or grabbing dinner with Elon Musk afterwards. However, what I hope to showcase are the small habits that I've been able to cultivate over the years that have helped land me in this position in life where I'm able to pursue my passions maximally. Anyways, guys. Let's get my day started. I typically don't use an alarm to wake up, but I tend to naturally wake up around 7. Then I'll brush my teeth, wash my face, and then apply my minoxidil. Afterwards, I'll work on my YouTube channel for a little bit. I have two projects that I'm working on concurrently. One is a stable diffusion fine tuning project, and the other is about neural radiance fields, which I've mentioned on this channel previously. Don't worry, both of these projects will soon culminate in a video, so stay tuned for when they come out. My desk setup consists of this 6 foot wide standing desk, whose surface is actually a whiteboard, which is clutched for quickly caching ideas and thoughts that don't necessarily need a permanent home. I also have more monitors than I know what to do with. Around 8, I'll start to get ready for the gym and make my protein shake, which consists of vanilla almond milk, vanilla protein powder, vanilla Greek yogurt, and vanilla mangoes. Just kidding, they're just regular frozen mangoes from Target. I take this to work to have after my workout, so it's nice to have some frozen stuff in it to ensure that it stays cold until then. I also make a bottle of athletic greens to take to work. Since I'll be using the gym at the office, I directly change into my gym clothes and then pack my work fit for the day. Checking the weather today, I see that it'll be beautiful and sunny. Just another Monday in California. I love this state. Let's head to my car. I load up all of my stuff in my frunk, which is mapped to my phone's action button, making it incredibly accessible. And then I hop in, starting my drive. I have a free trial of Phil Self Driving, so I've been having that drive me to work. It's actually mind-blowing. Hopefully one day I'm able to make a video about all of the machine learning that goes into making a car drive itself. FSD never fails to amaze me. Anyways, the drive to work is about 17 minutes, so I typically just chill and catch up on the Kendrick and Drake diss tracks. Don't worry, I'm still paying attention to the road. So I just parked, let me plug my car in because it's got a charge and now time to hit that workout. Today, I'll be hitting chest and back. I like the Arnold split because working out antagonistic muscle groups allows me to superset more often and keep my workout slightly shorter. Also, a chest and back pump feels absolutely unreal. My workout for today consists of dumbbell bench press, pull-ups, incline dumbbell bench press, seated cable rows, chest flies, and reverse flies. Then I wrap things up with some abs, cardio, and stretching. Okay, wow, that was a tiring workout. I'm gonna quickly go shower and change and then head up to my desk to start the workday. While I'm walking to my desk, let me show you guys around the office. The ByteDance San Jose office is incredibly beautiful. It's an all glass, eight floor building that has just gorgeous views on all four sides. Whether it's planes landing and taking off, San Jose downtown, or the gleaming mountains in the sun. Also, we have micro kitchens on every floor with so many amazing snacks and drinks, including coffee machines. My favorite is the key lime flavored sparkling water. Now let's set up my desk. It's also a standing desk, which is great. I use the MX Mechanical Mini Keyboard and the MX Master 3S Mouse. I absolutely love these devices and my favorite part is either the infinite scroll wheel or the fact that both devices can connect to the same dongle, so I need to only carry one of those pesky things around. Time to start the workday. After responding to any messages I might have missed from my colleagues in China, I try to get a good chunk of programming done before lunch. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys might be wondering, what exactly do I do here at TikTok? Well, I'm on the machine learning systems team. And right now I'm working on the ML platform that our machine learning researchers here use to launch and manage their training jobs. We help manage everything from data pre-processing to allocating the VMs and GPUs to helping debug trials if anything goes wrong. I unfortunately can't talk about what exactly I'm working on right now. However, what I can share is what I worked on during my internship two summers ago. Obviously, it won't be exactly the same, but it should give you guys an idea of what someone here at TikTok on the machine learning systems team might work on on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, I was working on the internal training framework here at the company and was tasked 
with taking a training job and distributing it efficiently across multiple GPUs. And this is the internal framework that all of our machine learning researchers use to train their models. Our framework abstracts away all of the hardware away from the researcher. If you've heard of Hugging Faces Accelerate library, it's very similar to that actually. And if you haven't, don't worry because that's a topic that I'm really excited to make a video about real soon. All in all, this is really exciting work for me. I love distributed computing and combining that with machine learning is literally like a dream come true. I think there's just something really satisfying when taking 10, hundreds, or even thousands of GPUs and utilizing every single ounce of their power optimally. Also, something really cool that my org does is that every week, someone presents a paper that they've chosen and shares it with the rest of the org. And through these weekly sessions, I've learned so much about machine learning systems. My last two presentations were about the Galvatron paper and the Megablocks paper. I'm not gonna dive into them, but I'll leave them linked down below if you're interested. Every day I leave work having learned something new, which I honestly am incredibly grateful for. Anyways guys, back to work. So now it's 11.30 and I'm gonna go down and grab some lunch. The food at TikTok is amazing. Everything is cooked on site. We have every cuisine from Chinese to Indian to Mexican to American. The menu is constantly surprising us. Their desserts are also incredibly dangerous because of how scrumptious they look. And if the cafeteria still leaves you wanting more, we also have food trucks. Today I got some soy chorizo tacos, which were really tasty. So I just finished lunch, I'm gonna go grab some fruit and then head back up to my desk. This is the time of the day where I get most of my work done, so I'll probably just be grinding until dinner time. I think I have about like an hour of meetings between now and dinner with some teammates that I need to sync up with regarding the project that I'm working on. But yeah, it's just time to go back up to my desk and grind, I guess. So, see you guys. Hey guys, so it's around 6 p.m. So I'm going to now pack up all of my stuff and then head down for dinner. So see you guys downstairs. For dinner today, I got a burrito bowl looking thing. It was pretty good. That was a quick dinner, but now I'm gonna go back to the gym, quickly grab my gym bag and then head back to the car so we can drive home. Finally, it's time for the car ride home. FSD has no issues handling the light traffic. It's nice that most of the traffic is actually going in the other direction. It also takes about 17 minutes to go home. Again, I'm just in awe at what machine learning is capable of. It truly feels like I'm looking through a window into the future. Whew, okay, so now that we're back home, I get to relax and work on my YouTube videos again for you guys, which I'm really excited about because I made a lot of good progress so far today. Most days after work, I typically will work on YouTube, but some nights I'll go out and maybe play tennis with some friends or play some poker. However, tonight is just gonna be one of those nights where I sit down and grind. This is also the time where I'll typically call my parents and girlfriend just to catch up with them after a long day at work. In high school, I definitely was more extroverted and I think I got like an 80% on the Myers-Briggs test for extroversion. However, these days I'm like 60% introverted, so I definitely prefer to stay at home most days and just be by myself and work. But yeah, please don't judge me. Also, some nights I'll have meetings for work, maybe around 8 or 9 p.m., but thankfully none today. So let me change into some more comfortable clothes and time to get to work. So 10.30 is my time to unwind and get ready for bed. I am human, so some nights if I'm out with friends or frantically trying to debug an issue that I'm working on, I do miss this mark. However, I try my best most nights to unplug from all electronics by now. I am someone with a pretty fragile sleep schedule though, so I've tried my best to optimize my apartment to help me with that. So check this out. Hey Google, reading time. This magic command turns my entire apartment into this dim candlelight color. So the dimness and the color both help prime my body to start to get sleepy which is really nice because after I'm done reading, I can just knock out instantly. My nighttime routine consists of brushing my teeth, flossing and using mouthwash. Then I take my finasteride and apply my minoxidil. Now I get to read for a little bit. It helps place some distance between me and what I was working on all day, just so I can come back to it tomorrow with a fresh mind. 
The only two things I try to limit my bedroom for is sleeping and reading. So that's why I literally only have a bed and a beanbag in here. So the book that I'm reading right now is The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. I used to be really big on self-help when I was like in college. However, these days I found myself to distance myself from like that topic just because I feel like once you've read enough books, it gets really boring and it's just so extra and like unnecessary at times however this book is definitely an exception to that and it's one of the very few self-help books that i would actually recommend to other people there are two parts the first part is about wealth creation and the second part is about happiness this is one of the books that i read about once a year just because it helps me recalibrate and remind myself why I do what I do. Most nights when I'm not reading this book, I'll either be reading research papers or like chapters from textbooks that are relevant to whatever like YouTube video that I'm working on at that moment. I've found that reading technical knowledge before I go to sleep typically helps me retain the information better. What I use to read everything is this Kindle Scribe which I absolutely love. The big screen comes in clutch when you're reading PDFs, and if I ever wanted to journal, let's say, it comes with a pen, which is really convenient. So it just helps me get my thoughts out right before I go to bed, and again, because it's a Kindle, it has the e-ink display, so technically it is an electronic, however, I don't count it as one just because there's not that blue light that's messing up with your circadian rhythm. However, some of my favorite quotes from the Almanac of Naval Ravikant are, Play iterated games. All the returns in life, whether in wealth, relationships, or knowledge, come from compound interest. Building specific knowledge will feel like play to you, but will look like work to others. If you can't see yourself working with someone for life, don't work with them for a day. A happy person isn't someone who's happy all the time, it's someone who effortlessly interprets events in such a way that they don't lose their innate peace. To make an original contribution, you have to be irrationally obsessed with something. Anyways guys, it's 11.30 now, so it's time for me to go to sleep. However, thank you so much for making it until the end. I'm so excited to share the videos that I've been working on with you guys, so definitely stay tuned. However, until next time, see you guys.